What's up guys, Anthony from Cognitive Forge here. Quite a number of people in the past told me that they didn't know how to install my mods, so I thought I'd create one generic video telling people how to do it. I'll be using the mod Keep Items on Death as an example, but really this process is repeatable with just about any mod that I've made, including Superior Enchanting, Resource Detector, and more enchantments, with plenty more to come. This video will cover installation of both clients and server ports. For those yet to be familiar with those terms, your client is your Minecraft jar used for single player and landing games, whilst the Minecraft server jar is what you use to host your game over the internet for people from other parts of the world to play. For the client, obviously you're going to need the most updated version of the mod for whatever version of Minecraft you're running. I recommend downloading from either Planet Minecraft or the Minecraft forums. Secondly, you're going to need Mod Loader, which is a commonly used API for reducing incompatibilities between mods. Optionally, you might want to download and use Magic Launcher, which is a convenient tool for dynamically loading mods without having to alter your Minecraft.jar. Now once you've downloaded the files, if you want to extract the .zip file of the mod, on Windows that's right-click Extract. Get rid of this, we don't need this anymore. Just to show you the contents, this is the file that we're going to be using with Magic Launcher. To finish off, open Magic Launcher, click Setup, click Add, then navigate to the folder where you download the items to, add in Mod Loader, then add in the spLAN.zip file of the mod. And you're good to go. Log into Minecraft and test. Now if you want to install this on the server so that people in different parts of the world are able to access and join your game, first off you're going to need a Minecraft server.jar from Minecraft.net. That's .jar, not .exe. Secondly, you're going to need to add files to the downloaded.jar, which is why I'm using WinRAR Archiver to speed up the process a little. After you've downloaded the Minecraft server.jar, rename the extension to .zip. This will allow us to change the contents. Right click open the file, then navigate back to the mod folder, find the folder for the type of server you're running, Then copy and paste all of the .class files into your Minecraft server. Close, rename. Now you're good to go. Run and configure it as you would a normal Minecraft server. There's plenty of information on how to do this on the Minecraft wiki. Thus concludes this video, thanks for watching and I hope you found it useful. If you like any of the mods that I create, please be sure to tell your friends about them and maybe link them to this channel. Currently modding is done for free, so I'm rather hoping that the YouTube revenue, if I'm accepting this partnership program, will allow me to support myself whilst I do it, and continue my long term programming projects with Cognitive Forge. We're also working on an Android and iOS physics game to release in a few months time.